Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Roll Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be hopping into Blender for the first time on the channel to show you guys how to make the low poly trees because in my 24 hour challenge video there was quite a few comments saying hey man could you teach us how you made those trees or how to make any trees for that matter for my games. So how I do this is I use a program called Blender. It is 100% free and the link will be down below in the description if you don't have it already. So you'll get this screen when you first open up Blender and I definitely understand that it looks pretty daunting to new people. People. There's a lot of buttons, a lot of different things you can do, but I'll try to keep this tutorial as simple as possible. So first thing you want to do is press tab and that's going to take you into edit mode. This is going to make every vertice, line and face editable. I hope that's a word. I don't know, <laughs> but we're just going to select everything and then press alt and then M and then at center. That's going to give us one little point. And then we're going to press E to extrude, which is just going to give it like a lot, a point, a line, and then another point. And this is kind of how we're going to shape out our tree. So you just press E to extrude and then click and then another one and you can always go back and do another one like over here um you can add one another one like over here and you just draw out your tree however you want it to look uh and none of them need to look the same like it's quite literally just super random so this is what i have so far and i think i'll go ahead and add in a loop cut right here by pressing Control r that'll give a little dot and it'll put a dot right there and then i'll go back by pressing one so i can stay on the same act uh we'll just make this guy like this and maybe have like another branch like that for example now we need to add a bit of variation because you don't want your whole tree to just be flat so we're gonna make these and this kind of go to the left there we go this guy can go a little more left this guy can go a little more right and just kind of add variation if you don't lock your camera down by pressing one uh it'll kind of variate itself but i just do that because it's what i how i've learned to do it and just my workflow so to select more than one point, you just want to hold shift and then click on your points. We're going to bring these guys this way, have this guy a little more this way, and then these can be kind of exactly where they are. I mean, you know, they don't need to move too, too much. Now let's bring this thing forward, this one forward, and I think we're going to keep these guys kind of like this. I will grab this top one though and kind of shift it over like this. So here's the base of our tree. Now we're gonna go over to this little wrench tool right here and click on skin, which is right here. Now you guys might be saying, bro, that is an ugly tree, man. Like, what do I do? Uh, basically, if you want, you can press Z and it'll pop up with this and just hold your mouse over to wireframe. This will make it easy to see the um, vertices and you just click on all of them. I'm gonna only click on the points first and then you wanna hold control and A and just drag your mouse to kind of scale these in because they don't need to be that big um or put them like right here for now and then you want to grab the next point down on each branch there we go Control a and scale these down and as you can see we are starting to get that kind of tree shape now we're going to grab the next point down on each of them Control a and scale down so for this i don't really like this bend right here so i'm gonna kind of fix it up a little bit make it not as harsh of an angle just by moving this vertice around a bit and then we're gonna press z and go back into solid mode and this is kind of what we have for our tree so i like how that looks what we're gonna do next is do something called auto smooth so just by pressing tab i'm gonna go to this little triangle thing the green triangle normals auto smooth and then we're gonna click on it and shade smooth you can also change how much it's affected as well, but we'll keep it at 30. Now we're going to stay in object mode and to switch through these, you just have to press tab. So in object mode, we're going to go ahead and spawn in mesh and go to icosphere. And if you want to change the amount of like subdivisions this has to make it less or more polys, you could do that for sure. Uh, I think I'm going to just do one subdivision right here though. Another thing you could do with this is go into here and go to sculpt mode. And I'm not exactly the greatest with this but there is definitely some cool stuff you can do just kind of make it a little more random and all that good stuff if you don't want to do a sculpt mode you can always go into edit mode mesh transform and randomize then you can open up your randomizer properties and do whatever you want with it okay so we're gonna go just kind of random just a little bit something like this I think works kind of well i mean i'm gonna definitely straighten these up a little bit because i don't want any super super hard edges all right now we're gonna press a and just move this 
up to the top. And I'm thinking we'll kind of use one leaf for two branches. So this will be one leaf, one leaf, and then one leaf. We'll see. You can press S to scale up your whole object. And if you want to kind of flatten it out, you can do S, X, I believe. No, that's that's this way. So you can press S and then the access of which way you want to scale it. So we're going to do Y, make it a little bit thicker, and then Z and kind of flatten it out just a little bit. All right. So this looks like a pretty good leaf. I'm going to go ahead and press A to grab everything and then just lower it down and get it placed properly on these. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Now we're gonna grab this, press A to select all of it, or L, but I just use A, it selects everything in this section. And then you'll do Shift D to duplicate it and just drag it over. We could always randomize it once again or just change like little things about it to make it a little bit different. And now that we have two of them, we do not want to press A or it'll select everything. If you just click on one vertice and click L, it'll select just the mesh you're working on now. All right, so I flattened out the bottom of this one and kind of lined it up to where I wanted it for this part of the tree. And now we have this, which is looking pretty good so far, but we need one more down here. So we're just gonna kind of repeat the same process. We'll grab this one though, press L, Shift D, which is gonna duplicate it, and then S to scale it down. And then we'll drag it over here. Then we can press R for rotate, scale it up a little bit, drag it down, and make sure we are on the branches. Pretty good. So now with this tree, what we're gonna do is kind of select all of these things. We can just press A, click on auto smooth, make sure you go back into object mode, and then shade smooth now this is giving everything a nice smooth look and then we want to get to texturing a lot of people skip this part and just export it to roblox in two different pieces but since i learned how to texture recently i'd love to show you guys and uh, help you make even higher quality games so first things first we will start with the leaves we're going to click on uv editing go to open and then you're going to want to have a color grid just like this um, I will post this color grid in the discord so if you would like this for absolutely free just join the discord I'll have it uh, in the announcements or it'll be somewhere in there and you guys could just go ahead and drag it onto your desktop and you'll have it 100% for free so now what we want to do is we'll just kind of look at the front of this the front of our tree right here and press a to select everything and now it's gonna pop up like this but we're gonna go back over here and press U and then project from view so this is what we're looking at right now. And from this, we can go ahead and grab them. And I'm just gonna place them inside of each other uh, by grabbing them with L and then G will grab it so you can move it. So I'm gonna put all of these inside each other and then press A to select everything and just shrink them down. This is gonna make sure all of them are the getting affected by like the same colors. So I'm gonna go with this really, really bright green down here, but it fades into a nice dark green. We're gonna put it right in the middle right there. And then we're gonna go to this materials, click new, go to base color right here, image texture, and then you'll just click this and click on your color grid. Then you can go back to right here, click Z and go to material preview, and you will see what your tree is looking like in its live like state, like how it is with your textures on it. So now that we have that done, we're gonna go into object mode, click on the trunk, press tab we did forget to apply our modifiers so just go back into object mode apply the modifier there we go and now we can go into edit mode select everything you project from view now we have our tree right here and when your tree is over here guys or whatever model you're working on texturing you can scale it however you want like if you want to squish this like this rotate it stretch it like you can scale it however you want and you can just make anything like you can make it this small if you want it to fit in a very small color so make sure you're doing whatever you need to do to get the color you're going for okay now you just want to repeat the steps right here base color image texture and we will make sure this is linked up real quick there we go and then we'll press tab and there we go guys as you can see we have a gradient right there and a tree so that's gonna wrap up this tutorial on how to make and texture trees or i guess i should show you how to export them and then import them to roblox so for me i'm gonna make this one piece by pressing ctrl j there we go and i'm gonna select it go to layout now we have it selected uh don't worry if your texture goes like this it's just because you switched views so if you go back into here and then material preview you are a-ok -okay. make sure you have this selected go to file export export as fbx and then this will pop up 
it's on my other screen stop being mean <laughs> this will pop up make sure you have selected objects clicked and then I would recommend making a folder called meshes or just something like that to keep everything organized I'll call this tree um, text just so I know that there's a texture on it and then I will click the export button after that we open up Roblox studio which I have right here here's some of the other trees and assets I've made so we're gonna go ahead and click uh, let me show you how to get to this just in case you don't know so you go to view explorer and game explorer properties you should just make sure all three of these are checked no matter when you're in studio but it's game explorer right here you'll go to meshes and then there's an import thing now you can bulk import i could select all of these and it'll import all of them but we don't need to do that right now tree text this is what we saved it as open always uncheck this if you add a texture um rescale if too large you don't want that checked because sometimes it can mess up the texture it doesn't always but sometimes it does and then just click apply all now it's going to load in get approved by roblox and it'll be in your meshes right here just right click on it and then insert with location now it is going to be huge but there you go as you can see it has the texture it is one piece so the leaves and the trunk is all one piece guys and this is how you make trees in roblox if you want a tutorial on the pine trees that i have over here i can for sure do that if you guys leave a comment below also the most liked comment will be my next tutorial so make sure you're commenting down below and let me know what you want a tutorial on next guys but that is gonna wrap it up like comment and subscribe hope you have a great day later